From the storage yards and into the ditches, much of the pipe is now laid. As the Transmount expansion project nears the finish line, some say it's the end of an era. I think we'll be good. I, I, I suspect and you know the industry is always finding new ways of doing things and uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think we're going to see a, another large scale liquid pipeline uh, coming forward. Transmountain is necessary, industry experts say, as space is filling up on existing pipelines. But beyond this project, there's less need for more pipes. That's because oil production growth in Western Canada is slowing. Pipeline politics have plagued the country for more than a decade, with Transmountain often squarely in the spotlight. The TMX is very polarizing for the fact that one, protection of the environment, you know, uh, the pipeline integrity, it's, it's always in question. Last week, the price tag for the project was updated to more than $30 billion, quadruple the original cost. First proposed more than a decade ago, construction is expected to finally wrap up by year's end. There's need and ability to build. This expert says the problems with Trans Mountain are sure to discourage any pipeline developer from pitching another big oil project. A little bit concerned and definitely hesitate before they move forward on a long distance pipeline, even if there was a, a deluge of oil to come. The focus will soon shift to ownership. For a few years, some indigenous groups have been preparing to make bids. The federal government has said it will sell the pipeline, but only after it's certain the project will be completed. Kyle Bax, CBC News, Calgary.